Well, in case you bought the new Core 5 Ultra 245K or 245KS, I have good news for you because you can actually make your CPU run a lot better than it does at stock. And this is the right video for you. So welcome back at I'm Watering PSUs and today we're gonna see how to undervolt your CPU to actually get it to run lower temperature, a lot lower power consumption, lower noise, and actually also let you gain some FPS and some performance numbers in some specific scenarios. So if you're ready for that, let's get started. But before, a few infos, okay? So this is not like 14th and 13th gen from Intel anymore. So if you want a big performance jump, you're gonna need to overclock the CPU instead. And I'm gonna have a tutorial for that coming out soon. This is mostly to make the CPU run better, increase your 1% lows, and that's the target for it. I'm gonna have two different presets, a dynamic one, which is the one I recommend to you guys the most, and also a static one. It's gonna be a bit trickier seen as this is a pretty complicated architecture. Now this is gonna be the same no matter your motherboard. So today I have here an MSI Z890S Wi-Fi but this is gonna be the same for every Z890 out there and also for the up-and-coming B860s and really for whatever motherboard no matter the brand so it can be Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Azurock doesn't matter it's gonna be the same the only difference is gonna be the name of the settings they're gonna differ a little bit but I'm gonna try to tell you guys how they're called in different BIOSes and this is also something we're gonna be doing in the BIOS so let's go in the BIOS and let's get started but before promise me one thing okay so if the PC is gonna run a bit better after the video please thank me by dropping a like and subscribing but after the video not now okay let's get started now here we are in the bios don't be scared just because it's white it's uh, the new msi bios i don't love it but it works okay so first off we want to go into the advanced options and uh, in my motherboard it's f7 as you can see but the motherboard is going to tell you which button it is okay? so once we're here we just want to go on the overclocking tab directly there's nothing else anywhere else first thing we want to do big disclaimer massive disclaimer is you want to have your xmp enabled that's the ram because if you don't have your XMP enabled, your RAM is not running how it should. So go on the Extreme Memory Profile and enable it. Now you wanna test the stability of this separately because maybe you just copy my tutorial and then you try the PC and it's crashing, but it's really the RAM. So first off, enable this, save and close, check if it's stable, and then come back. With the XMP enabled, let's go ahead. First off, we're gonna do just the, I want lower temperature, I want my PC to run a bit better, I don't wanna spend much time tweaking it part. So the dynamic option. So for that, you want to go, if you have a performance preset, which most motherboards have, just put the Intel default settings. So that's the first step. Then you want to go into the advanced configuration for your CPU. It's going to be called the same on every brand usually. And now you want to disable a few things. So the enhanced turbo, you want to disable that. Now this is going to lose you a little bit of performance, but we're doing this for efficiency. And the enhanced turbo sometimes pushes the CPU too much. So just take it off. You want to go all the way down until you find the CPU DLVR control. Now, this is very important, but we are not touching this for this preset. We're touching it in another preset, okay? So leave it on auto. Now, leave all the frequencies on auto. Go all the way down until you find our nice CPU voltage. But these have different names, different motherboards, so they can be CPU core, V core, CPU voltage. But now we have two of them. We have the VCC and we have the core voltage, okay? VCC on top, core voltage on the bottom. What this is, is basically CPU now has something that's called DLVR. So the voltage is not the same, but I don't want to annoy you guys. So here's how you do it, okay? You just go on offset mode on VCC core voltage. You select the minus and then over here you put 0.05. You then go under CPU peak or voltage mode, you go on offset here too, you go on minus, and now here you put 0.05 as well. And this is gonna basically be it if you just wanna do a dynamic undervolt. So if you wanna just copy it, just disable Lens Turbo, do this, and your PC is gonna run cooler, quieter, draw less power, however, this is not quite the best configuration. So if you want to stick around, I'm going to tell you a few extra things, okay? But it gets tricky. So basically, the spread between those two voltages is going to be wasted voltage. So even though it doesn't make sense, sometimes if you leave this on auto, so you leave the peak or voltage on auto and you just uh, offset the VCC, you are gaining actually more performance and more temperature gain this way. So you want to try this out, see which one works better. Also, if for some reason your PC is unstable, you need to reduce this number. Or if you have two, just do it on both, okay? And I'm gonna do it just on one, just to keep it simple. If your PC is unstable with 0.05, 
try 0.04. If it's still unstable, 0.03. But really, 0.05 is gonna work for most of you guys. So nothing to worry about there. If you wanna, on the other hand, try to push your PC more, make it run even better, you may wanna try 0.07 if you're very lucky. So far, I haven't had a sample which can go to 0.01 stable. I haven't had it, but if you are can do it, do it, because it's gonna run even better. But check that you're not encountering phantom throttling and that your frequency is still the same while doing this. So this is it for the dynamic option. We are done. But in case you wanna stick around, I'm also gonna show you guys the DLVR thing I was talking about before, okay? So at this point, the video is over, but if you want more performance, you're probably wondering, hey, you told us more performance. Okay, so here's how you do it. It's all on the preset. So the only difference is on MSI Performance preset, you put MSI Unlimited settings, and this will unlock the power limit, but now we are reducing the voltage still, because we are still doing this. Not with 0.01, of course, but with 0.05, Okay, so we are still doing this, which is basically allowing us to decrease our voltage, but increasing our power limit. So by doing this, if the CPU can, it's gonna boost higher and for longer. So you're gaining performance by doing this. Something else which you may want to do, but now we are basically overclocking, okay? So I warn you, is if you wanna get free performance, you wanna increase the ring ratio. Now you need to test the stability of this separately, but if you put this to 42, you're gonna get quite a bit of free performance. So you may wanna do this. And one last thing, you may wanna disable the DLVR, but if you do that and go in advanced CPU settings, disable the DLVR like this, you would then have to go and put a static setting on the vCore to make it lower. So you would need a lot of testing and I can give you some guidelines for what I found to be stable, but you need to check it for yourself, okay? So what I found to be stable is, we go over here, you, we put it into override mode, both of them, and I found the P-Core to be stable at around 1.1 to 1.15, and I found the VCC core voltage to be needing about 100 millivolt more, so around 1.25 to 1.2, and while doing this, you wanna get usually your P core a bit lower. So you can try it with 4.2, but it's better to just go here and put the ratio on 50. And uh, I mean, while you're at it, you may also wanna raise your E core frequency, but uh, let's not get this too complicated, shall we? Or it's gonna be overclocking. If you wanna overclock it, I have a dedicated video for you guys. I recommend you just do the simple stuff. And uh, it's a pretty tough platform to undervolt. So let me know this works for you and if it doesn't please drop a comment i'll try to help you out and also if you found a better way maybe you're from the future and you know like did some bios updates just drop a comment let us know what you're doing and i hope you can have a healthy discussion and uh, make your pcs run better okay and uh, if you like the video drop a like and a sub especially remember you're promised if the video helped you bye bye